Right, good morning and welcome to Fishing with CJ out on the boat. Uh, we've just grabbed a small window in the weather. Um, it's going to be pleasant, I think, up until about midday and then it might start picking up from the west. But at the moment, what wind there is is from the north, which means that if we stay fairly inshore, uh, we should be in nice, flat, calm water. That's the plan anyway. We're going to go out and we're going to drop the anchor and we're going to fish for whatever is there. I suspect it's going to be a bit of a white infest. Uh, but whatever, it'd be nice to get out and catch a few fish. There are some codlings showing up, so um, if we catch one of those elusive unicorns, there may well be some music and a dance. But in the meantime, I'm with Steve. Hello, nice to see you all. And we're out fishing. It is, it is, the sun's not long cracked above the horizon. It's quite a low sun at the moment. You can probably see it straight in my eyes at the moment. Um, and we're going up off um, either Seaford Head or the Seven Sisters. We'll go and see what it looks like when we get there. So we'll get the, get the show on the road. Let's get the boat moving and um, yeah. Maybe where they're getting a the codling. Well, we've dropped the anchor. We're fishing. Steve's catching the bottom rather a lot. <laughs> yep. Um, unfortunately, the tide is very weak and it is swinging us around. Uh, so we're kind of facing it to the wind rather than facing it to the tide, which means the stern of the boat is swinging around. But I have got a fish on. Oh, a tiny little pouting. But I've also got Steve's other line. Oh, there go, that's gone now. So the first fish in the boat, and it's a pouting. And the tip section of my rod snapped off. For no reason, just went. Now, I don't know that I've hit it or bashed it or anything like that, I'm not aware of it. But uh, yeah, so I'm fishing with a rod with four inches missing off the tip at the moment. I'll tackle another rod up. Uh, but in the, mo in the meantime, I can't fishing like this. A and we've got a doggy coming on board. Doggy. Nice doggy. Call them nice. Yeah, well, if you're fishing a competition on the beach, it's very nice. Yeah. It's taken a while for the fish to find us, but it seems they found us at long last. Maybe we've swung round to a sweet spot. Yeah. Good shake and he came off. Alright, well done. Yeah, we're just swinging. Every so often the tide takes us the way it should go and then the wind pushes us back south of, of, of where we should be. Showing up on the bottom, anyway. All right, let's tackle this other rod up, and uh, so I can put this one away. Right, so I'm tackling my other rod up. I look round, and the rod's bending right over the one that was in the water. They're taking me into the bottom, but uh, one very small whiting. Oh, 
nice live bait size. If we settle down into the tide, I will put a stinger rig out, but there's no point at the moment. Just swinging around. So two species in the boat. No, three species in the boat. Dogfish, whiting, pouting. So that's all the all the um, not so great species. Let's see if we can get something decent now. Let's get this this second rod tackled up. Get on the, on that and get that fish in. Got another white in, little pin white in. I say they're lovely live bait size, so um, when it stops swinging around, I will definitely put a stinger rig on, I think. Another undersized white in. Time for a cup of tea. Cheers. There's lots of fish showing up on the bottom. Yeah. They're not showing up on our rods. set up for the long wait I think yeah lots of fish showing up on the, on the bottom just turn this camera around so you can have a look at what the sound is saying look, look, all this, this, these are all fish on the bottom probably whiting but uh, nonetheless I wouldn't mind catching a few for the for the fun of it and then hopefully amongst all those sea little white in there's something decent. Nice cod or something like that. What's that with the rod tips? Anything on the rod tips? See the here. Beachy head lighthouse in the distance there. And the bell toot lighthouse on top of the cliffs there as well. And of course that they moved that whole building back from the cliff edge a few years back. But I'm guessing the cliff is still eroding towards it. I wonder. Yeah, it's getting very close. Yeah. The they they um they won't do it again, will they? Well that that's what I'd heard, they're not gonna do it again, but um Yeah, and then of course over here it's burning gap and you can see that the uh, they're tearing they're taking down the cafe there and you can see the, the the cottages there they're gradually trimming back the that eventually will be a, a detached house at the moment it's it's like three or four semi-detached but there was one on the end of that which is gone um, I believe that the steps are shut you can't get down onto that beach anymore but I don't know so, nice scenic bit of the world, and the Seven Sisters. The sisters, and Beachy Head. I am very surprised that we're not getting absolutely mullered by whiting. Right, well, we'll keep on fishing and um, see what happens. Oh, hello. Turn the camera away and my rod starts going. Let's put that back again. Sit. Turn this around. Get that on film. Yeah, something definitely there, isn't there? 
something definitely there. So we'll wind into that and see what we've got. I'm guessing. I'm guessing we have a whiting. As soon as I put the cameras on, it stops. There's something there. I do like fishing with these really light rods because even a little whiting, you know, it puts up a bit, a bit of an account for itself. There we go, another pin whiting. Black lug worm as bait. At the moment. It's wrapped. It's still got a little bit of life in it, but it's kind of by itself by date, I think. A bit of breeze coming from the uh, so it, it, it's forecast to go round to the west and already it's it's sort of northwesterly now, so it is actually gradually getting west. Still a nice day to be out at sea, and much nicer than the last day I came out here. If you might have seen the video when it was absolutely horrible out here. Um, we're not rolling, rocking and rolling like we were then. Um, we've we've had a little bit of a petrol leak. One of the tanks has suddenly sprung a leak, so we are the, the boat does smell of petrol at the moment. We have flushed it out as much as we can, but uh, there is a bit of a faint waft of petroleum, so we won't be smoking. Not that either of us going to do smoke, but just in case we get the urge to take it up. We won't be doing that. Not today. Not today. Is that other going? No, I think it is. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Let's have a look. More exciting than I might have not noticed. Yeah, there's definitely something on it. It's woken up, whatever it is. Here we go. Oh, slightly bigger whiting. Getting bigger. They are getting bigger. That would probably be sizable to score points on the competition. but not big enough to take home to eat. Well, it doesn't seem that long ago that we were out in shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that for a few months, I don't think. And the other rod's going again. Yes, definitely. That's a that's a better bite. That's a better bite on this one. I don't know if it's, I think it's come off. Feel any tuggies? Tuggage? Oh, there's a, there's a little bit of tuggage. Oh, better bite because it's a silly little pouting. Look at that. You think a fish that small would give you such a rattling bite? Always checking these pouting to, for, for, in case we pick up a poor cod because we're still fishing a species competition and a poor cod would definitely be a new species for me. But that was definitely a pouting because it had a black base to its petrol fins. Oh, 
There's all these little fish around. There's got to be some big fish looking for an easy meal. Right. Right, we've got another little rattle on this rod here. My um, abridged rod. <laughs> but of course, you know what's happened. I put the camera on and it stopped happening. This one's hooked in the bottom, I think. I better bounce that out. And the musical chimes. Is that your phone? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, good thing. Yeah. yeah. It feels like something might be on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Putting up a heap of a fight. Yeah. Ooh, they are getting bigger. The whiting are getting bigger. Definitely getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got another bite going on this rod. I think. Um, Wind it in and have a look. No, I think it's gone. Definitely rattling on there, but it's not there anymore. Yeah, not there anymore. Well, surprisingly enough, the wind picked up a little bit, but it's gone. The sea's mirrored out now, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, look at it. It's 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 absolutely glassing off. Beautiful. Still loads of fish showing up on the bottom. Right, well, Steve's just had a, a specimen fish. <laughs> we'll turn it around so you can have a look. A conger eel. Tiny little thing. Tiny little thing. Uh, it's not a strap, is it? <laughs> it's not a strap. It's a boot lace. So, but it's interesting to see that we had a, a, you know, another species on the boat. Um, yeah, so what's that? How many species now? Dogfish, pout in, white in, conger. So four species. So let's see if we can get a, a seven or nine species day. But it's gone very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. Which I don't know quite why. We either we've swung around and we're off where the fish were or, or what. Certainly not lying, the boat's not lying the way it should do in this tide. Be interesting when the tide goes round and um, starts to uh, flood, that might be um, might be better because the wind and the, and the tide will be in the same direction. It's just whether, whether the wind picks up then because it is forecast to pick up round about then. But we'll see. So we'll keep on fishing and uh, keep hoping, fishing and hoping. Well, it's been very quiet for a while. But I did have a bit of a knock on this left-hand rod just now. But of course, it's not happening now. Well, I didn't see if we've got any bait left on there. Hmm, it's 
Still bait on there. No fish. Bit of slight tangle going on with the two rods. Bite on there. Yeah, good old good. Right, got a right old rattle going on here. <laughs> Which because it's been so slack it's quite exciting. Can't feel anything on there now. I just had a bait robbery going on. Yeah, the baits have definitely been tugged at. Let's put a fresh worm on it. It's been soaking for quite a while. It's amazing what's going through on the sound of the mid water. It's yeah. quite red just now. Yeah. What baits are you using? You're using squid? Are you using any fish bait? No, I've got um, squid and. No, it's all the water. Freeo hooks. I'm trying to keep away from the small fish, but the point is, we'll manage to keep the Freeo hooks. Yeah. Fair enough. To, to be honest, whiting, I'll take a Freeo as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Keep on keeping on. It's weird, isn't it? When we first came out, how much we were swinging around and getting snagged on the bottom because of the swinging around, and now we're just hanging limp. Yeah. Nothing there. No. Woohoo! That was some old size of a bait you got in there, though. <laughs> A fantastic sky out there. Had a couple of bounces there, and uh... yeah. Well, I mean, I, I have as well. I have a, I have a couple of knocks and rattles, but uh, not connected with anything. Probably, probably just white and ragging at it. But um, yeah, it's gone very quiet. Nice little squid. Ooh. I've, I've never managed to, well I have caught them, but accidentally. Oh look, I've got a bite on that rod then. But not I when think, I've... I think I've only been fishing for them once or twice. When yeah, I, whenever I've planned to do it, it's gone wrong. I mean like now, there's probably squid and cuttlefish around now, but the water's too cold, so you're not going to have any joy, I don't think. Yeah. I used to uh, get enough bite and kill it. Yeah. Well, they're all along this coast, aren't they? And when I when I put the underwater camera down, there's always cuttlefish in, in shot. Right, definitely got a fish on there now. So. These are the, the the light is all wrong, so everything's in silhouette. But it is what it is. Tugging. No, there's nothing tugging there, and there's no fish on there.
Just give me a minute. Maybe some of these other kids will go. <coughs> Ben going on here. I think it's a doggy though. Ooh, 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 ooh. it's a dogfish. <laughs> but even a dogfish is welcome on a day like today. As long as we're not getting plagued by them. Doggy, don't get a dance for a dogfish. Okay, I've got a bit of interest from this rod here. Um, only tiny little top knocks though. Interesting to see if there's anything on there or not. Don't feel like nothing. No, nothing there at all. Put it back down again. Well, I've got fish on there showing up on the sounder coming up. Oh yeah. What is it? It is a dogfish! <laughs> they are a nuisance they're also a joy to see when you're not catching a great deal on a day like today they're very welcome doesn't matter of interest what length is it Back down to the briny oggin. That wind is doing exactly what the forecast said it was going to do. Picking up from the west. But we're nosing to the, into it and nose into the tide, so actually it's not too uncomfortable, is it? Might be a slow run back, but. A couple of turbot have come up off the beach in this form. Have they? Jim Whitty had one. Oh, yeah, oh. Bought oh. one. Yeah, he said he had one. And uh, someone had a picture of one the other night. Yeah, he, he said he had one because I said I said there's quite a lot of small eyes coming off the beach, and he said, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 that's what I'm after. And then he went out to tell me that his wife held the British record for a while. Well, it's quite a different day now. The uh, the wind has picked uh, up uh, from the MFB, west, MFB, MFB, MFB. but it is in the same direction as the the same direction as the, the, the tide so it's meant it's not too uh, lumpy um, fishing has gone really quiet I don't know why we haven't getting the odd bite and the odd dogfish but um, that's all well I don't know how much longer we're gonna give it there's, there's no point trying to get back in now because we won't get into our berth I don't think because of the tide but um, yeah persevere with it for a bit longer I think see what happens well, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but um, the, the, the sea is getting up. There's, there's you know, reasonably large swells. Um, we're not catching loads of fish, so I think we're going to lift the anchor and start heading back in. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good day to get out. We've had, we haven't blanked. We've had, we've had a few white in, a few dogfish, a few couple of pout in, um, one small strap eel. Um, just a joy to get out of sea, to be honest. Uh, every day at sea is a different day um, and today was definitely a different in fact today has been like two different days because we had beautiful flat calm first thing in the morning and now the wind is doing exactly what the weather forecast said it was going to do and starting to pick up uh, from the west it, it was it was originally blowing northerly but it's now blowing from the west 
which is over the top of the flooding tide. Um, if it was going the other way, it would be unfishable out here. It would really be rough, but uh, it's it's yeah, it's not bad. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna lift the anchor. We're gonna get our rods in, and we're gonna start heading home. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, if anything else happens, I'll put the camera back on. In the meantime, catch you later. Right, well, Steve's winding up his rods and uh, looks like he's got a fish on. Oh, another dogfish! <laughs> so, I don't know how many dogfish we've caught today, but there's a few. Hitting the old dongle rig, look. Yeah, dogfish on the dongle. Hooked right on the side of it. With, was it a circle hook, is it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's good. And it's away. Just goes to show how quickly this can get up because an hour ago it was flat calm, wasn't it? Yes, it was. That and was now, a nice day. yeah, but now it's lumpy. And as I say, if the tide was going the other way, it would be very uncomfortable out here, I think. Well, we got here in about 15 minutes, it's going to take us another 45 minutes to get back. Yep. <laughs> it's been a very slow, slow journey back. Um, the sea is definitely steep fronted and got quite choppy now, so I think we packed it up at the right time. We're nearly back now, it's taken us about an hour to get back from where we were fishing. It took us 15 minutes to get there, it's taken us an hour to get back. So it just goes to show, you know, that, that um, the sea can be doing one thing one minute and then it can, it can ca quite catch you out. So we are just about heading into the harbour. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today. Well, I've, I've really enjoyed myself, to be honest. just yeah, great to nice. get out and um, yeah, it, it's been good, it's been good. So uh, I don't know when the next time is going to be that I can get the boat out. Definitely want to go and have a cod off uh, Seaford Head. Um, I can't believe that we weren't getting played by thousands of whiting, to be honest, but it is what it is. So let's get back, get back in. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you now and say keep safe, keep sane, keep fishing. We will catch you on the next one. Say cheerio to Steve. Go. And turn it around to face him. No, it's not. It's not. It's following me. So there you Cheerio, go. Everybody. Yeah, cheers, Steve. <laughs> Thanks for a nice day once again. <laughs> uh, yeah. And a, and, a, and a very pleasant ride in. <laughs> a very lumpy ride in. Definitely burning a few calories on the way in. That's for sure. Right. So catch you later.